Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to take a look at our hemp bedding bin. So this bin has red wigglers in it and hemp bedding, and it has been doing really well. Now, it has been a little long since my last check-in at 35 days, but I bet that the worms are doing great in this system as they have been doing great all along. We're going to go ahead and add some more food, and at some point we're probably going to have to filter this one out or, you know, maybe do a side-to-side -side harvest. In fact, maybe we'll start that today depending on how it looks. As we move into these winter months, just so you know, it does get a little bit drier in my house, so I have to also monitor the moisture content a little bit more than we did in the past. So with that, let's take a look at our system and see how it's doing. All right, here's our system here. I don't know if you can see, but there is a little spider over here. And here we go. We've got a date of 11-2, and today is 12-7, so 35 days since our last update here. So it has been a while. And just so you can see here in my basement here, it is about... 67 degrees and for those that use celsius 19.5 degrees celsius so it is a little chilly in my basement and the worm bins are starting to get colder because of it so with that let's go ahead and open this up we'll send that little guy scurrying off or oh, he's going to stay right on top there look at that he's just hanging out on top i don't really kill the spiders that are around my bins lots of worms in here wow tons of worms actually in this plastic part um, usually I don't see this many, but uh, I'm guessing that they're just trying to look for stuff in here to eat, maybe. Because I haven't fed them in a while. i put that off to the side. You can already see some worms on top here. This is a good sign. They are doing a really good job. These look like great castings, by the way. A little moist, maybe. But look at this. Look at these castings. They just come right apart. These, this, this bedding material, by the way, so far has been phenomenal. Um, there shouldn't be any food in here, I would think, at this point. But look at this. You can just see all the worms in here. They look very good. Casting's phenomenal. Look at that. I mean, they're they're really all over here. And it's not really sticking to the sides, even though it feels a little muddy. I mean, it still crumbles apart. Um, I'm going to say this is probably one of the best bedding materials I've used, I think, in my bins. I'm, I've, I've liked Cocoa Coir. Um, pine shavings are okay. But this stuff is just phenomenal. And this is really what, um, if this is just hemp, you know, from, from growing plants and it's not the part that's used, really this should be something that they are looking to do with their leftover materials. Because this is just, this is phenomenal compost right here. I mean, you can just see, I mean, the worms love it too. It's very, very, very loaded with worms. I mean, and of course, no food left over. I'm not surprised at all. I didn't expect there to be any food on this side where we last fed because, you know, it has been this long. But look at this. You can just see every, every single handful has worms in it. And they all look fairly healthy. Let's just bring out this side a little bit too. I mean, look at this. You can just see them. I mean, they're, they're all over. They're all over my gloves. As I said, it is a little sticky. But, you know, I can get it off pretty easy. It's not too bad. I mean, I've definitely seen worse where I've, you know, really had to, like, maneuver my gloves and even wipe, wipe them down with water and stuff like that. Nothing quite like that. I mean, they're still, I can just kind of wipe them off and flick it off to the side and it'll come right off. So not too bad at all as far as moisture content. Let's just see here. It's a little dry on this side. And again, worms in there still. I mean, you can see there's, like, almost a ball of them right there. So they're, they're really liking this system and this bedding material. I think what we're going to do here, though, is just dig into the center section. Look at this. Look at that. There is This is a mango seed right here, by the way, but look at this. Wow. They are desperate for food. They are looking for any food they can find in this system right now, and this mango seed is that food source right now. So look at that. They're all over this trying to get inside here. But look at that. I mean, you can just see I mean, They're all over here. This is a great system, great material. This mango seed will let them continue to work on that, but my gosh, I've never seen that many. Look at that. It's right near that. I think that's the opening right there where they're getting into it. But you can see they're really trying to work at this material. They really wanted material to, to consume here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do sort of a side-to-side -side harvest here. This material looks kind of ready. And let's see if we can get the worms to to leave it. I don't know if we're going to be able to. I think they have a feeling that they're going to say, look at this. I have a feeling they're going to stay in here as long as they can. I think this is a very microbial rich material. I think they really, really like it. Oh man, I'm trying to not kill all these worms because these are some smaller worms here. Just trying to work them off my gloves slowly. There we 
go. Right, nothing left in there. Okay. Let's just move this over like this. You see a fruit fly for a second there. All right. We're just going to move it over like that. And we're going to add in some more bedding. This bedding really shrunk down, by the way, too. Um, we had a lot of bedding in here, and I think it's really shrunk by a lot. Um, as you can tell, the moisture content is going to, we're going to need to add some more moisture and things like that as we add more bedding. But let me go ahead and grab our, my bedding bag. I'm going to take off my glove here. I don't have a third hand. I'm just moving my glove, sitting my glove right there. We're going to go ahead and add, this is dry bedding, but it's okay. This is directly from the bag. We're going to go ahead and add a bunch of it in here. I'm really impressed with this bedding material. A little dusty. Whew. There we go, we've got that all to this side right now. It's very, very dry right now because I just put it in. Actually, we're going to add a little bit more it's sticking to my hands. Shows how dry my hands are. That might have been maybe some cobwebs or something like that, I don't know. After all, this has been sitting in my basement for a while, but we're going to go ahead and add some more in here. I think more than that. Let me go ahead and add that. There we go. I think that's good. There we go. I think we're way short because this does, this is going to shrink quite a bit and we want to kind of make it level with the other side. Whoops. There we go. That way we can make it sort of level with the other side. It's still sticking in my hand. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to need to water this, but also what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some food in here first before we do that. And for this, I have some of our watermelon, my frozen watermelon that I showed the other day as well. So I'm going to go ahead and dig out a little hole right here in the center. I'm going to add a bunch of frozen watermelon into the center here. This is going to thaw out and add a lot of moisture in here. But also it's going to add a whole lot of microbial activity since it's got a lot of sugar in it. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and bury this in here as best we can. Move this off to the side again. And I'm going to put on my mask and we're going to add some crushed crab and eggshell because we're going to need this grit. Because this is fresh bedding and I, we don't have any grit in here. I know it's hard to see with the contrast. But we're going to go ahead and add a bunch of crushed crab and eggshell in here. And really, we can add it all to the bedding as well. I've got a link on how you make this stuff as far as, you know, I make it from crab and, as I said, crushed crushed eggshells. I make it from a crushed crab shells that I cook. Um, primarily, it's eggshells now since it's uh, past crab season. But there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and cover this back up. We're going to need to bury that down just a little bit more, make sure that's all covered. It's also sticking in my gloves, too. i got a lot of dust in here, which is why. I'm wearing a mask, that way I don't breathe this stuff in because this stuff is really, really bad for your lungs. And now what I need, if I can find it, is my there it is, container. And I've got water off to the side here we're going to use. I'm just going to sprinkle some on my hands as well. To, there we go. We're going to add some water in here. And this stuff will hopefully absorb that water. This water, by the way, is my water that I have in just a five gallon tote off to the side with BTI mix, which is a mix that helps kill fruit flies. So this is it right here. It's these mosquito dunks. I throw one in a five gallon bucket and I let the water sit and then I throw it in my bins. It's supposed to help prevent really fungus gnats more than anything, but it does help, I think, a little bit with fruit flies, but not 100% with fruit flies. So let's just make sure this stuff is far enough down in there where hopefully they won't find it. There we go. And kind of cover this a little bit here. And the worms will hopefully find that. All right, now we're going to go ahead, pull this up. We're going to peel off this labels. These labels off the sides here. I'm going to put one label right over here. Put it on there straight at least. Just like that. And what I'm hoping is that these worms are going to migrate over to this side over here. 
and that way we can harvest them out of this system. And actually, I'm going to put a little bit more water in there. I mean, this is this is very dry. This material. I also want to wash off my gloves a little bit more. There we go. And that's hopefully going to get this really going as far as microbially, and that's going to get this up and going. Hopefully, these worms shift over into this new system, and then we can harvest all this material out, and we'll only feed this side going forward. So that's it for this update. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on. And we're, we're going to let this sit. If you have any questions or concerns or anything you want to talk about, please let me know down in the comments. And thank you for watching.